My name is Johan Kompagnen and I'm from Holland and I'm the International President of Open Doors International. I've had the privilege to work with the Persecuted Church for over 30 years and these last years it has been a great joy to meet Dr. Bob Fu of China Aid and to see how passionate he is sharing the needs of the Persecuted Church in China. We really recommend and endorse his ministry to you. It's been wonderful to hear and see the Persian Church come to us and uh, that they speak with such a clear voice. Please pray for and support this ministry. Hi, my name is Julia Duxit Persa. I'm the Religious Liberty Coordinator for the European Evangelical Alliance and I just want to say how much we appreciate Bob Fu and China Aid in their work in letting the rest of us know about what's going on in China when it comes to religious liberty. Hello, my name is Henrik Rasmussen. I'm from the Danish European Mission. We've been working uh, on various groups together with China Aid Association, and uh, I've been impressed on, with how they have uh, given us a lot of uh, very useful information on what is going on in China in a balanced and a very well documented way. Hi, and I'd uh, just like to say. A big thank you to Bob Fu and to uh, China Aid, who do such a fantastic job in keeping us updated. We in CSW uh, use their information all the time. It's uh, it's accurate, it's up to date, and uh, we get it as soon as it comes out. We're able to act on it, and we're able to get um, our supporters to advocate, to speak up, to write letters um, uh, in order to help the church in China. We could do none of that. Uh, without the help of Bob Fu and China Aid. Uh, we think they are a great ministry. Keep it up, Bob. Your ministry has been really challenging and I wish you all the very best uh, in your work in China and the advocacy that you are doing. China Aid Association is a very interesting organization doing a lot of good work for, the, for China. And it's a privilege for me to uh, to greet you and to congratulate you with all your work and all your efforts. And I do hope that you will receive a lot of support uh, in your country uh, that can be to the help for the Chinese people. And especially now, during the Olympic time, there will be a great focus on, on China. And it's really a Kairos time for the Christian community all over the world to pray for China, to support and even if you are working with uh, human rights also to do advocacy so it's my wish and my hope that china aid association will be supported well from the an american audience my name is bjorn Wegge, and i'm the executive director of a norwegian a christian organization uh, working in the same field helping the the persecuted church and helping the also china and chinese christians to uh, be the light and the salt of their own society. Thank you. I'm Andy Dipper. I'm the Chief Executive of Release International. We're based in uh, London in the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm a great fan of China Aid. Uh, Bob Fu and his team do a superb job at uh, getting information out, raising the awareness of individual cases around China. Uh, and this quality of information is absolutely superb. It's, uh, it's really helpful for our supporters to be praying specifically about the particular cases. It's really important that we're able to support practically those individuals. And it's just really important that this sh uh, it has been something that has stood the test of time. Uh, I highly recommend China Aid. Highly recommend you uh, support China Aid. Give them the resources that they need to keep on doing the work and even expanding their work, raising the issue of religious liberty today in China. China Aid International. It's a wonderful Christian ministry. It's doing cutting edge advocacy for the Chinese church. And we're delighted to be able to partner with China Aid. We feel that when Bob Fu speaks on an issue, he speaks with authority, he speaks with confidence, he speaks with. Uh, the backing and support of the church in China. And it's our uh, belief that without his work, many more would be suffering uh, imprisonment, torture, and other uh, problems within China. And we are hopeful that in the years ahead, as China Aid continues its work in 
it will be blessed and it will continue to assist the church in ways that are strategic and in ways that are beneficial to the growth of the church in China. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for what you're doing to uphold the ministry. And uh, we are grateful for all that you're doing. God bless you. We are very uh, thankful for the services of uh, China Aid Association and uh, Bob Pu because they are doing some of the best China research and uh, we need really qualified uh, information about the cases uh, in China and what's going on there. So they provide some of the best insight of China we so far have ever got. Good evening, my name is David Aikman. Some of you may know me as the author of the book Jesus in Beijing. I also am a part-time teacher at Patrick Henry College in Northern Virginia, where amongst other things I teach the history of China. It's been my privilege to know Bob Fu for several years and to watch with enormous admiration as he's built up this incredible source of information about events in China, particularly as they relate to the activities of Christians. I have many times relied upon Bob's work and the reports that have been collected by his associates and I have known them to be very reliable, um, very detailed and extremely helpful for anybody who wants to understand the nature of the Christian Church in China and the kind of challenges that the Church faces. I would like to see you support Bob Fu and his ministry in every possible way because I think by helping the church in China, we are indirectly helping ourselves here in the United States. I have often said, I believe China is destined to be the next great Christian superpower in the world, taking on many of the burdens that the United States have taken on. And so it's very important for us to know how to support the church in China, how to be informed, how to pray, and one of the best ways of doing this is continuing to support Bob's ministry here in Midland, Texas. Hi, I'm Tom White from The Voice of the Martyrs. I first met Bob and Heidi and one of their children when they flew to the United States was at North Carolina. They landed for the first time in freedom in the United States. I'd heard a lot about Bob and his wife, their heroism in China, being arrested for the gospel, holding Bible classes at night in Beijing. Uh, for us, uh, Voice of the Martyrs here, Bob represents the pillar of our information concerning China and the uh, courage, heroism, and suffering of the Christians in China. Document I hold right here, we got just a few days ago from Bob, are about 11 children and adults arrested for holding a home Bible study. For us, and we believe for Christians around the United States, this is the essence of what we need the courage of the Chinese Christians, the sacrifices, their heroism, not the so-called giant news of politicians meeting politicians, uh, toys sold in some stores that were full of lead paint, but the real situation of our brothers and sisters in China. For Voice of the Martyrs and for our work, we depend upon Bob and China Aid as our main source more than 90% of our source for what's coming out of China. I've been privileged to be on Bob's board of directors for a few years. And to all of you in Midland at the dinner, uh, I miss being with you. Today I was a former Bronco at Odessa High School in the early 60s, one of your competitors. But we do feel we're not a competitor with Bob. We are delighted to be a part of China Aid. Sorry I couldn't be with you at the dinner uh, this evening. God bless you all, and we love Bob, Heidi, the family, and keep you in our prayers. Thank you so much.